Yo guys, welcome to the channel. It's your boy Moss Devour. Why not enjoy this video in 1080p? So actually on most devices, you should be able to enjoy this video in full 4K HD, guys. That's 2160 if you're looking at your little settings button. So whatever your highest settings that's available to you on your device, go ahead and change it to that setting right now, guys. I will talk more about today's episode after I finish up this full six-man ace 1v4 clutch up. I hope you guys enjoy. <coughs> What's lot tonight? Up planted. Start the clock. Stairs. Stairs. Look in there, homies. Look in the room. Look in the room. Got a UAV on the station, ready for fire. Oh, they're all right there, bro. You got him. No, 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 no. Tell me what are you doing. Oh, shit. Cruise missile, going for launch. That's how we're still here, dude. You're gone. You're Set the tempo. Gone. Keep it up in the next round. I do hope you guys enjoyed that full six-man ace right there, guys. Also with a 1v4 clutch up. Can we get a like on the video for that ace right there, guys? So today's video, I'm going to be talking about the two best search and destroy classes that are non-meta. So not a MP5, not a AS Val, not an M4A1. So in my personal opinion, I do really love the Bison and the MP7 right now. They're absolutely insane. I've been popping off with both of them. And you know what? It just feels better than the MP5 at this point. I feel like I've kind of worn the MP5 out. I know a lot of you might feel that way as well. After this round, I have one more Bison clutch up to show you guys. And then I go into both of the class setups that includes the MP7 and the Bison that I will be using today. If you guys do happen to find anything entertaining or informative, or you love Call of Duty or Search and Destroy as much as I do, and you want to make your way back to the channel one day, do absolutely make sure that you guys smash that subscribe button with the bell notifications on. That way you never miss a single episode, guys. Thank you so much for doing that. I do really appreciate your time. In this final kill cam slow-mo, you can kind of appreciate the Bison's recoil control a little bit better. As you guys can see with the class setup that we do have, the recoil is really low. The iron sights are really nice on the Chuck Walla variant, and it allows me to hit these super long-range shots. So I do believe I have a 1v5 clutch up for you guys, and then we're going to go ahead and hop into the classes. Okay, let's not fucking do that again. Bro, by A. Full K subs. How is he there? What the hell? Less than a minute! On station, ready to deploy. Bro, shut up. This guy has 4K subscribers on YouTube. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, how did that... Oh, yeah, Sunshine, bro. bro! How would you do that, bro? Oh the my god. Report for debrief. <laughs> This is why he has 4k subs. Dance, you goofy ass. Go visit your dad in jail, you stupid. My man most definitely did finish that sentence with the hard R, so I did have to cut that scoreboard a little bit quicker than normal, guys. But that was a 19-3 Bison gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed. So on the Bison, I'm using the Monolithic Suppressor, 8.7 steel barrel, 5 watt milla laser. 5 milliwatt laser, <laughs> no stock, and the rubberized grip tape. It's really important that you use the Chuck Walla variant though. I hate the iron sights on the default bison. On the MP7 that you guys are going to see today, we're using the monolithic suppressor, the FSS recon barrel, no stock, and the 60 round mags, and the ranger foregrip. So I love to use the prototype um, 
iron sights on this mp7 i don't know if you guys have it i did have to buy this one but it comes with the purple tracers and it looks really sexy so i do definitely recommend buying it if you haven't bought it already now we're gonna go ahead and hop into our mp7 game phase, guys let's get it For their mission, so be it. Critical assets identified. Keep them secure. This is Falcon 3 0. Good copy. UAV beginning flyover. their mission, so be it. Retrieve the bomb. Destroy your targets. You have the bomb. Find the target. As you guys can already see, this MP7 really just has it all. Time to kill, low recoil, quick reload, good clip size. The enemy only has four people right now, but I did just kill all four people. And I do believe I kill all four people again. So back-to-back -back aces with this MP7 class, guys. It definitely does go big. Enemy UAV overhead. Planting Bravo. UAV is out of fuel. Uh, Bomb planted. Begin countdown. Uh, Bro, are you uh, Maintain pressure. Next round, we crush them. Things that I really look for in my class setups that really help me perform to my best potential. Definitely it's going to be mobility, how well I can move around the map with it. Does it feel clunky? ADS speed, am I able to just, you know, pull up my sights real fast? That way I can get in and out of gunfights really easily. And then also overall time to kill. These things really matter to me a lot. And because I normally play on a higher ping, like 70 to like 100 millisecond ping, Having a fast ADS really helps me out a ton. This is our last MP7 clip, guys. I do hope that you enjoyed the video today. Do absolutely make sure that you guys leave a like rating and subscribe to the channel. That way you never miss a single episode. GG's, guys. Devour out.